Hello, Big Gumbo here. Um, so recently I've met this guy. I was at the bins the other day and then a guy goes, Big Gumbo. So I look over and I'm like, oh, I guess the guy that knows me from YouTube. But it turns out he's the, I've been stalking him on eBay for like a couple months now. He does exactly what I do, sells the same, uh, it's about the same number of items as I do. He has a little bit of a bigger store though. He sells all the same stuff. And he's, he's my number one competition in the area. There's nobody selling more than me or him in the men's clothing category. Um, or listing as much as we are. If you look in the Sacramento area, there's a lot of bigger stores that are doing like all kinds of junk. But as far as clothing goes, it's me and him. We're like... But anyways, I met the guy. Um, I can't say his name. That would be rude. But it turns out the same guy left a comment on one of my YouTube videos a couple months ago when I was leaving Eco Thrift or whatever saying, oh, I got all this stuff at Eco Thrift. And he left a comment that said, you know, you shouldn't say where you get all your stuff. Those wells might run dry one day. Or he said something like that. Ooh. <laughs> so then I'm going to Eco Thrift the next week after I've met him and I'm walking in there and then out comes out from the door, he comes with like two wheelbarrows full of stuff, like stacked this high. And there's employees helping him. Um, so this haul, is a spite haul for him. I'm just gonna call him R for the videos because I don't want to dox him. We'll call him R or M. Anyways, at this one Goodwill where he doesn't go, I believe, because it's always got so much great stuff. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where this one is, but I spent $388 there and got 66 items. So you did the math. Probably paying about $6 per item. But really good stuff for one trip. That's like two days worth of listing. Let me make sure I'm recording. Yeah, we're recording. I don't want to edit this video. This is kind of for me. It's just a vintage single stitch shirt. It's five bucks. It's on like, I think it's like an 80s tag. I don't think he does that much vintage. So I don't think he'll care about that. But this kind of stuff I know he does. I don't know if he grabs carbon to cobalt, but I do. It's really good. You like selling men's shirts for about 20 25 bucks this one did not have a price so they gave it to me for 4.99 uh travis matthew golf pants amazing 5.99 and i think it was one guy donated all this stuff and i literally went to this thrift store four days ago and this stuff wasn't there but i got a bunch of stuff that time too $4.99, Travis Matthew, Polo. You get a lot more money when there's like cool prints on them and stuff. The basic ones, you get like 18 bucks, 15, 18. For the slightly cooler ones, you can get up to 25. This brand is awesome. I've been selling this like hotcakes and I've been finding it like hotcakes. I don't know if that makes sense, but mainly been finding it at this one <laughs> Goodwill. Uh, seven bucks. My price is like, if they're really cool, like I sold one with palm trees on it. I listed it for like 35. If they're just basic, I price them at like uh, 29. Here's another one. They were both seven bucks. Mizzen and Maine. They're like a stretchy material. More Travis Matthew. Five bucks on that one. Like I was so excited. I actually went through the whole men's section twice. Once I realized what was happening, I was like, oh wait. So I went back and got some stuff I'd originally passed on. Um, more Travis Matthew for five. So I kind of went into like psycho brain. Uh, Cause I was like, all right, I'm gonna focus on lowering my um, average buy cost this week. Cause I spent a lot last week. But I couldn't go to the bins because I forgot my wool rolly cart. So I ended up going to this spot, which you won't figure out where it is. M or R. Five bucks more Travis Matthew. This one's got a cool print all over it. Faraday. Pretty good. Not as good as it used to be. This should do really well, though. Um, you'll probably find a lot of their button up shirt, not their button up shirts. They're like long sleeve polo shirts. Those are kind of oversaturated in the market. That's why they don't sell that well, I think now, but the sell through rate on a lot of their other stuff is really good. 
Peter Millar Summer Comfort. These sell like instantly for seven bucks. Uh, if you want them to sell instantly, I priced mine at like 25. If they're just plain, I priced them at like 25. 88 and accept offers over 20 and they sell really fast. Um, if they got a cool pattern or something, you can get more than that. Sometimes one will slip through the cracks and just not sell though. So don't be too stuck on that price. If you get it for cheap, just sell it. This is just a Nike golf one. They had so many golf things. Um, I just grabbed all the ones with patterns. This is like an $18. And usually if they got a cool pattern and they I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this is like a more modern one. You'll A lot of times you'll find the uh, bigger, kind of bulkier ones. Those are from like 2006. Those ones don't sell that well. But if you can find these modern ones like with that, it's almost like a raised logo. And uh, for Nike stuff, if you're having to pay up, what I do when I have to pay up for things is I take the extra time sometimes and I'll look through the exact model. And that's one way to make it worth it to pay up. Like paying $7 for this is like a lot. But if you take that extra time, like sometimes you'll sell Nike stuff. It's incredible for 25 bucks plus shipping. If you just put the model, like it's such a cheat code. Um, I hate when people say cheat code, but I just did. Same goes for Under Armour. I don't ever put the model for Under Armour though, but the more modern looking ones I will grab. It's a more like tightly woven material. The older ones will be more like Jersey-ish. Yeah. Just only pick up the modern ones and you'll do good with them. And like I said, I grabbed only the ones with patterns for these basic brands. Another Under Armour. This one says cold black or cold black. So I'll probably look up that and see if that's good. But I'm only anticipating getting like 14 to $18 plus shipping on those. But I figured it was worth it because I'm grabbing so many golf polo shirts. It's gonna be an amazing, easy day of listing. Like this is an example of a Nike thing where it doesn't look that great until you look up the actual model. So I do 30 items a day right now and on a lot of them, I actually do look up the model. If you're doing under 50, like I think you should just take the time and do that. You get so much more bang for your buck. Um, seven bucks for these and they think they're called like the vent max jogger and i should get around 35 bucks for them because i'm gonna put the actual name of the item there which is insane for just some nike pants and it was a high sell through rate over 100 uh another nike golf shirt with a pattern seven bucks on all those polos Five bucks for just a Travis Matthew t-shirt. That's not great. Those are like 15 bucks or less. But they sell pretty well. Pretty quickly. Just a basic Johnny O t-shirt, pocket t-shirt. It's another like $15 thing. But these brands are like the brands you want to be selling right now. Pretty much everything I've showed you. Here's a Viore athletic t-shirt. Um, I don't sell Viore anymore, but I still buy it because I don't want anyone else to get it. Um, I've been just kind of saving it up and I'm just going to pawn it off on some other reseller who sells on Poshmark. Maybe one of you. Um, but this one, I'm probably, I'm probably going to keep this one. It's actually really comfortable, nice clothing. So put this to the side for me. What is this band? Just a Stone Temple Pilots t-shirt uh, for $3. Band tees, if you can get them under five, are usually worth it. This one I just grabbed because it was cool. It's a vintage shirt made in Canada. So, yeah. I don't know, maybe 15 to 18, I paid $5 for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. This brand is actually pretty good during the summertime. Don't touch it during the wintertime. It's kind of a mid-tier brand. Um, if you find their shorts, their shorts do incredibly well. Their polos, they do all right. 
I've sold the same one though with the like palm trees on the pocket. This was five bucks. This is all one Goodwill. Here's the first bag from that Goodwill. Here's the second bag. You know and love this brand. Cool is another great one to put the actual model in the title. Um, you can sell a basic athletic t-shirt for like $35. Sorry, not the model, the style. And that's gonna be located on the inside tag uh, right there at the bottom. And if you look it up, you will make, for cool, you can double the money that you're gonna make on it. It's, I don't understand. I know like tech and sports and stuff says you just put cool pants, 35, 30. But if you put the actual model for those higher end brands, because people go on the website and they're like, oh my God, $100 for pants, I can't afford that. So then they take the exact model or style and then they go on Google, they type it in, and then eBay will pop up or they'll just go straight to eBay. But for things like this, Under Armour golf pants, these are really nice ones. They're like perforated throughout. I paid $5.99 for these. These, I won't put the model or the style. I just throw them up. I think do like $24.88 on the Under Armour and the Nike ones and then sell them above $18. These ones are uh, $6. And every size you find will have its own sell-through rate. So if you're looking up sell-through rates, which you should on everything you buy, um, put the size in. This is all stuff I'm... This is all the stuff that I'm selling all day long already. So I didn't really have to look up the sell through rate. Mizzen and Main, so short sleeve, stretchy shirt, $5.99. This brand is like, I don't, the, the price is, it's not like you get 60 bucks for a shirt. You get like 25 to 35, but it sells really fast. And I just keep finding it for some reason. This brand I is a, kind of a mid brand i'm gonna start saying mid because everyone's saying it now um but it's new with the tags at the bins i would grab this used but at the retail goodwill for seven bucks it's got to be new with the tags is this linen that would make it better no it's cotton so i don't know tops i would get twenty dollars for that Here's another, this is a fun one to find because when it's hanging there, you always see this and you know it branded as born from the experience. It's Prana, men's pants. And I only did men's clothing today. These were $7.99. This is another good one to look up the model on. I'm just gonna call it the model. I'm sorry, ladies. I know it's supposed to be called style, but whatever. This is all one Goodwill Under Armour. Golf pants, $5. These do really well. Bing. Travis Matthew golf pants, $4.99. Amazing. And some of these have like little faint stains like that. This one, this one I told them, oh, I don't actually want to buy that one because it had a stain and then they gave it to me for cheaper. Um, it was $4.99. Well, they took a dollar off, so they weren't too generous, but I should be able to get that stain out. With this, and I'm trying this new one out. So far, not so good for grease stains. So we're probably gonna stick to this and dish soap. More Under Armour golf shorts. A lot of them had this on there. Like different brands had that. So maybe these, I don't know what that is, but yeah, like here's a Tommy Bahama one and it has that. So what is this? This might've been a reseller who like, this is their inventory system. That would make a lot of sense. Or maybe a golf store. Because why would the Under Armour ones have that and the Tommy Bahama ones have that? I don't know. But these ones are $4.99 and they're like performance stretch ones, which will do really well. There's a lot of different types of, uh, I use, always use grip waste as a keyword in the title. Um, and then I do stretch, performance, golf. 
but there's a lot of different types of Tommy Bahama shorts that have over 100% self rate. Not sure on this one, but cargo shorts with an elastic waist, over 100%. Uh, Under Armour, $5.99. So like some of these I had passed on originally. Um, I was just getting all the $4.99 ones and then I went back and said, oh, I just might as well get everything. Cause it's never going on sale, so. Under Armour, $4.99. Like, why are some of them $4.99, some of them are $5.99? I don't know. More Under Armour, $4.99. Right, this might be the boring part of the video. More Travis Matthew. See, there's that little sticker again. So maybe if you can understand what that is or can guess. I'm thinking it's somebody's inventory system. This must have been a reseller. Good reseller, too. They're picking up a lot of the stuff I like. But why would they donate all this? Like, this stuff is in really, really good condition, too. I'd be sick if it was, like... This company I looked up, Jay Lindbergh, okay? Not 100% South Raiders, are about 50%, but the sold comps were, like, 50 bucks. Jay Lindbergh, that's what the logo looks like. And these ones are $4.99, and it's a golf company. Jay Lindbergh, new to me, look how fancy that is. So I'm excited about trying that out. More Under Armour. A lot of it's 36 too. Yeah, Jay, everything's 36 Nike golf pants. So this is a bit of a mystery. Six bucks. Are these 36? 36. So this is like one guy. 30, oh, this is 34. Nike golf pants. Maybe it's not one guy. 34. Nike golf pants. 6.99. Foot Joy golf shorts sell super fast. There's another one of those little skew things. These ones were $4.99. Just price them at like $25 and take reasonable offers. Another pair of Foot Joy golf shorts. Grippy waist, nice. You gotta check the grippy waist though. Sometimes if they're old, they'll be cracking. Like you'll find uh, the Tommy Bahama silk pants. Always check, cause all their silk pants have like this little rubber um, like cross hatched lining on it and take your fingernail and scratch it. If pieces fall out, don't buy them. Ah. Okay, what else? More Nike golf pants for $6.99. I mean, this is probably getting boring, but I'm just doing this to kind of brag at M. Maybe he doesn't want this stuff. I do. Six bucks, Travis Matthew golf shorts. This is like exactly what I dream of. Foot Joy golf pants for $5.99. Foot Joy, their golf polos are great. Um, I, most, I sell most of them under 20 bucks, but they sell pretty quickly. Um, their pants, on the other hand, are excellent. Depending on size and whatnot, you'd get 25, 30. Color, if you can find a nice color. These are Nike for seven bucks. Like this I had originally passed on. And then once I figured out that I'm gonna spend a ton of money, I go 388 bucks. That's the most I've ever spent at a Goodwill. Travis Matthew, five bucks. Under Armour, seven bucks. Like you, I'm paying up for an easy listing day here. Uh, Nike Golf, seven bucks. And I'm gonna sell a lot of this this week. Like I said, I've been doing 30 a day. Every day since I've done it, I've been selling three to five within 24 hours of my 30. 
Because what I do is I wait, um, I promote everything at 5%, but I don't promote what I listed that day until, until I list my next day. Um, so, I, so it'll be 30 listings, and then by the next day I can see how many of them have sold, and then I promote what's left, because I don't want to promote it if it's going to sell on the first day anyway. <sighs> what is this? Oh, it's a Henley shirt from Viore. So I'm just buying this for no reason. For six bucks. I, I just can't pass it up. And hopefully it fits me or I'm going to put it in the big box. Yeah, I've got some stuff over here. There's like Viore, multiple pairs of Viore shorts. I think some other things. Yeah, maybe I'll sell them to someone else. Uh, Nike golf pants again. What did I buy? 20 pairs of these? Six bucks on those. And their pricing is completely arbitrary. Here we go, baby. Guess what brand this is? Lulu. For $5. And I just watched a Thrift of Life video before this, and he said that Roan is better than Lululemon. Bro, you're just putting it up as Lululemon shorts. This is another one where if you look up the style code, these could potentially be worth $65, you know what I mean? Or they're worth 30. But you will sell Lululemon so fast if you actually use the style. It's like insane. I don't, and I know it takes a little bit longer, but you are literally turning, instead of your $5, not every time, but you're turning your $5 instead of 30 or 25, into 60 and it takes literally two minutes i can show you you got to find the dot though if they don't have a dot you're out of luck usually it's inside one of the pockets okay there's your dot all right see it so they all are gonna say I believe if it's a men's, it goes L-M. If it's a women's, it goes L-W. You start with the L, and you finish that string of numbers. So this one is going to be L-M-7-A-A-Z-S. And you stop at the period. So you go to L to period. You type that into Google Images. Put the word Lululemon after it. And it will show you everyone who is listing these shorts. Then you go back to eBay. You've got some different tabs open when you're listing. That's what I do. Um... You type in the style name. Once you found it, you look at the sell through rate. If it's over 100%, you price it at or slightly above the market. If it's under 100%, you don't. You price it with the market. But it's probably going to be over 100%. Almost every time, because most people don't take the time, nor do they understand how to look it up, because like the hardest part is understanding where to start. You start at the L. At least that's what I do. Uh, $6 more Nike shorts. Here's a 300% sell through item, uh, metal militia, um, what do you call these, board shorts, 300% sell through rate, or five bucks, I think they go for like 30, 35. Metal militia is pretty great. It's like Fox, but even better. Uh, RLX Ralph Lauren, another great one. Sells similar to Summer Comfort. I think I like Summer Comfort a little better. Um, Lululemon, got a little stain on the back, but yes, it's Lulu again. Oh, a couple stains here, actually. We'll give it a nice spray for five bucks. I think Lulu with some stains, still not risky. And the shirts, you're just kind of out of luck. You're not gonna be able to find a dot. They don't have the dot on the shirts, but sometimes inside the hem, it'll say the size. Yeah, like this one's a large. So on the back of the waist hem. That's how you figure out the size. But they won't have a dot. So you just got to list it as Lululemon Polo Shirt. Because it'll take you 12 hours to figure out which one it is. Um, more Travis Matthew. $5. Ooh. Oh, no, sorry. I told you... Those one golf shirts, shorts with a 50 to 
50 to 100 dollar item that wasn't it those are super high sell through rate good this is not high sell through rate sorry I, I, whatever i told you in the past about some pair of shorts that you've never heard of the brand and i've never heard of the brand was not necessarily true when it came to the price the sell through rate was good on those the price was normal like 20 bucks 25 bucks this has a bad sell through rate zenone well not bad but 50 percent, which is not amazing but you should if you can get things that are cheap for 50 percent sell through that's good um this is the 50 to 100 dollar item zanone i don't have much else to say about it because i've never sold it before so yeah adriano goldschmidt kind of sucks but their shorts do so well this specific short the wanderer sells for like 35 bucks used with a good sell through rate and these are new so i paid nine dollars for them but their pants suck their jeans suck look up the sell through rates like people say they're good they suck sorry adriana goes me sucks it's a good bins brand though theory I like theory. That one shirt in that last video that I was like, I bet I get twenty five dollars for it. I think I got like twenty eight dollars for it. So here's another one. I was so sad. It's like as soon as they post a video, everything I just showed in the video sells, and I don't get the opportunity to pop it up on the screen. More Nike golf pants. Six ninety nine. And one last pair of Under Armour golf pants for $6.99. Amazing. Pay $388 for that. Really good. Now here's more spite hauling. Hold on. So after my enemy, M, who's a good guy, I like him, um, left Eco Thrift, I went in there and still found 38 items and I paid $246. So I had to pay up on some stuff and I had to buy some stuff because I was angry. I seen him with all this stuff. I was like, there's no way I'm not getting a bunch of stuff. Um, so I had to buy some lower tier things and I had to pay up on some things I wouldn't have liked to pay up on. But I was just not gonna leave there empty handed. But we did get some really good stuff. Like this. It's a Ralph Lauren RLX. So good, dude, so good. Puffer jacket, or puffer vest jacket. I paid $15 for that. So maybe he didn't like the price tag or he didn't see it. I don't know how you don't see this. This is a at least $55 item and it's RLX. So it's going to sell fast. It's, it's like great. Maybe it won't sell fast because it is a vest for 75% off of 15. So like 350, I don't know. Um, see, this is like what I'm talking about with the work. These are just some cotton sweat shorts, but they're size 4XB. And this Polo Ralph Lauren stuff, oh my God, it sells so fast if it's 4XLT. I bought a bunch of it last week that was 4XLT and it sells so fast. And you can just make up whatever price you want. Literally, there's like none listed and a ton sold. And you can just say whatever price and then you'll just get reasonable offers and it sells so fast. But anyways, 4XB. But the work I have to do is I have to get that drawstring. There's only one hanging out. I gotta fish that out which is one of the worst things. So yeah, he doesn't have to do any work. He probably got all the good easy money, but I just want to show that even though there's a little friendly competition going on, you can still get some really good stuff. A 4XLT Performance Ralph Lauren Polo Shirt. These is like the stretchy golf ones, not RLX, so not as good. 
and a lot of this stuff had like little minor stains which I scratched this one and it came off so we're good there but it's huge and it's gonna sell for probably well, what did I pay for it first of all I paid five bucks for it I don't know 20 25 it's good all right, this stuff, I'm just gonna throw some stuff on the ground now all right, here. like this I don't want to sell this <laughs> I did it because <laughs> I just had to I was like I'm gonna sell those. They're just huge. I, I've i learned that people, because people, YouTubers always be saying, oh, bigger sizes are better. Not true. It's not a general thing like that. Bigger pants don't sell better than smaller pants, especially jeans. Smaller size jeans usually sell better. Look up selfie rates and you'll learn these things. But tops, shirts, bigger sizes are typically better. But for pants, no. But I bought these Polo Ralph Lauren pants for 75% off of 20, so five bucks. Out of spite. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna sell those. All right, what else we got here? We got a built shirt, built, not as good as it used to be. This one was three bucks. I went on their website. This is another thing I do. The brands that I sell, I kind of stock the company. Um, I think they're going out of business because everything on their website's like 50% off all day, every day. So I used to be able to get like 25 bucks for these really quickly. Now it's more like a $15 item. Where do I put this stuff? Um, same thing happened to Dahui. Dahui used to be pretty good. Their website doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, Boy Scouts. I love selling these. I think I paid five bucks for it. Yeah. Usually get about 20 bucks, especially the modern ones. You would think the vintage ones would be better, but no. The modern ones that are vented polyester do better here's some vintage boy scouts uh cargo pants a cargo pocket is a pocket with a top on it a lid these are five bucks i just sold a pair of these for 20 literally yesterday plus shipping so yeah he might have got a bunch of good stuff but i got slightly probably worse stuff but i got a bunch of it for half off, so three fifty, a, I think it's Oklahoma University. Sooners, you let me know, but it's a real big size uh, Nike dry fit for three bucks. So those usually sell eventually. For a dollar ninety nine, I got a vintage single stitch, River City, which is Sacramento, uh, vintage shirt. It says some beer on it, which made me pull the trigger on it. And I keep getting ads on my Instagram uh, for beer companies doing shit with Sacramento. Sorry, my mouth is really dry. Hold on. This is long. Okay, I hope you're watching this, M. Real nice guy, though. Yeah. Oh, here's good stuff. Uh, for five bucks, Specialized. It's a cycling company. You can see there's the Specialized logo. I actually didn't see that when I bought it, but I just saw that little S right there, and I knew it was Specialized. Specialized is my favorite cycling brand to sell. I know there's better ones, but I think Rafa is a really good one, but um, I find it quite a bit. Psycho Bunny is a pretty good bread and butter brand right here. This was seven bucks. I thought this was a gay company, but I actually don't think it is anymore. Not gay as in I, like as a negative thing. I mean, like, like it's actually a company uh, marketed towards gay people. Um, another specialized polo for five bucks. But yeah, the Psycho Bunny stuff sells pretty quickly. A Link Soul Golf Polo, five bucks. And there's probably some stains on some of this stuff that I'm not spotting right now because I got the kind of bottom of the barrel stuff because I, I was late, as M said. 
uh, 75% off of seven for this uh, 4XL tall Polar Affluent shirt. Yep, there's some stains. But I scratched them all. It's a good trick. You scratch them, if they turn into powder, it's gonna come out in the wash. This specific Nike shirt I will buy for like up to six bucks because I've sold it many times. It's just a Nike Pro Athletic shirt with a center check. You can put center check or center swoosh in the title. That gets a lot of searches on eBay. I think it'd be $4 for that one. But this specific shirt, there's a lot. See how it's like a modern look? You could picture like some wealthy high school kid wearing this. After football practice or something. I don't know. I only pick up the modern looking ones, is what I'm trying to say. Outdoor research. I even went to the women's section, which I don't usually do at Eco. It's an okay brand right here. Seven bucks. It's just like a performance polo. Maybe it's got some wool in it. That would make it worth it. Uh, so I guess it's a uh, wool blend. So this should do it well, actually. And I paid 25% off of seven. More basic Nike college stuff. This is the kind of stuff I'd rather buy at the bins. This was $4. These do really, really well. Uh, Royal Robins hiking skirt, or skirt, I mean. They sell pretty fast for like 20 bucks, plus shipping. $4 on that. Here we go, baby. Smart wool for $7. And this is like a casual sweater one. And it probably has a hole on it somewhere because they always have holes, but I don't see any. Nice. Here's a good one that you want to look up the style on. So REI kind of sucks. Grab it at the bins. Don't grab it at the regular thrift. But REI co-op does not suck if you look up the style, which on here is going to be located. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, the style is going to be located under this tag, on this bottom tag. So I always take a picture of the size, the material, and the style. So when I'm listing, in case I want to look up the style real quick, I'll look it up. It's that top number on this. So you just do REI Co-op and then that top number. And if I'm wrong and it's not that top number, try all the other numbers. But I'm pretty sure it's the top number. This is called the Sahara Shirt. This one would be called the Sahara Solid shirt. And yes, this is a women's shirt and it has over 100% sell-through rate. So you'll find the Sahara Plaid one does better than the Sahara Solid. It's just basically a vented fishing shirt, which you can get $25 for every single time because you looked up the style. But if you don't look up the style, you might not get that 25 bucks. I was warning you. This is questionable. It's a Disney crew neck sweatshirt. Not that questionable. It'll definitely sell um, for three bucks. Probably priced it at 1988 plus 750 shipping. And I don't know if it's vintage, but yeah. Disney stuff is made, unless it's vintage. Aria co op. Uh, another one you can look up the style this but I already know the style on this is called the tech tee And you can get like 18 bucks for it. Just a basic t-shirt. Here's five Here's that same Nike shirt again that I was talking about that I've sold a bunch of times paid for Here's another one of those REI co-op tech tees for five so you want to put hiking, performance, stretch, polyester, REI Co-op Tech T. This one I almost grabbed a week ago. I'm not happy with myself for grabbing it because it's freaking huge. But one thing you can do when you're going down the jacket section, if you don't like looking at all of them, you see canvas. Same with uh, like work pants. If you feel the material, this is waxed canvas, which is expensive. Um, and this brand, Game Technical Apparel, it's a 5XL, which might be good, it might be bad. I didn't look it up with the size, but some of these go for like a hundred bucks. So I paid 75% off of 30, which is 750. 
I'm not happy with myself for grabbing it because it's so huge. I just don't want to list this. So I'm going to just throw it in my closet until winter time when I'm desperate. Or I should just make myself list it, actually. But I don't think that's going to fit in my inventory system, so I sh that's another reason I shouldn't have grabbed it. But I just... I was making weird decisions like this because I saw him leaving the thrift with all that stuff. Um, <laughs> he got in my head. 350 for LLB and shirt. These aren't great. They sell between like 10 and 15 bucks and they don't sell that fast. It's a good bread and butter like Ben's item, but um, I would not pay up on them. At least for the basic ones. If you can find like more substantial pieces um, from LLB, they did pretty well. Seven bucks for a cinch shirt. I was on the fence with this one, but I sold a very similar one like two days ago. Because cinch is not what it used to be. Here's something I shouldn't have got for three fifty. I pick up. I like to pick up J Crew under three dollars. So I guess three fifty isn't too bad. But just these basic J Crew shirts, they sell really well. If you price them at like fourteen eighty eight and accept offers or use a coupon, somewhere between that ten and fifteen dollar range plus shipping. If you just do good listings and take good photos, they do sell. I'm selling them all week, every week, but it's not something you want to pay up for. Another basic Nike hoodie. USC stuff does pretty well for me. I think kids that go there are, are rich and they like to buy shit. Here's a good one. This was in the men's section, M. You missed this. Seven bucks. I think it has a stain on it, though. It's a smart wool jacket. I haven't looked this up, but I'm assuming it's a very good item for $7. There's the logo. Smart wool is great. Yeah. All right, where's the stain? I know there's a stain on it somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. You know, I, I'd like to say I'd get $50 for it, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. At least 30 though. Here's a one with some stains on it. This was one of those gambles here. There's a bleach stain, so we're going to be trying out some laundry detergent. Not a bleach stain, a grease stain, which can be tough to get out. But I listed a couple uh, crewnecks last week. Um, Polo Raffler and 4XLT, and they all sold. So I'm thinking a hoodie will do even better. And I paid half off of five, or I paid half off of 10. So I think even with the stain, I would get $30 for this. Here's another similar item, Polo Raffler and 4XLT. Maybe he didn't realize how good the 4XLT stuff is. It's really good for Polo. Um, if you look up Polo Ralph Lauren 4XLT shawl collar uh, cardigan or just look up cardigan for 4XLT there's like none listed and sold comps are like over 100 bucks that's called a shawl collar and this is a cardigan sweater um, I've got two I did listed two of them recently for like 100 not have they have not sold yet but they've got watchers one of them I listed for 149 and I sent out a hundred dollar offer this morning. Hopefully they'll accept it. But this stuff is really, really good in this size, especially the more unique stuff like this. This one I paid, holy shit, I paid $20 for this. And I'm probably gonna list this at like, cause those ones I listed cheaper for like 40 bucks sold instantly. So I'm gonna price this at like $65. And I know, worst case scenario, even after fees, it's definitely a $30 item, so I will not lose money. But this was my spite haul. Like I said, I just had to buy everything. He, there was these really fancy polo shirts. What's the company called? Roebuck or something? It's like this little dog logo. Oh, and I was, I should have just bought them all at full price last week so he couldn't get them. <laughs> um, I think he got them. They, they were priced at like 40 bucks there but they sell for like 80 bucks. I should have just got, 
see, but that's not something I would normally do, but now that there's a competition going on, I gotta pay up for the good stuff so I can win. I'm very competitive, actually. I like to pretend that I'm not. This one I paid 12 on. These are really, really good in this size. If you look at, if you find this in a size large, don't pay more than five bucks for it. But in a 4XLT, these are really, really good. Paid $15 for this one. This is what I'm saying. I don't think you realize how good the 4XLTs are. And I waited. I went there every week till these were at least half off. And there's still some left that have more stains and stuff on them. But now that he's going there, I just got to get everything. Uh, it's annoying, but whatever. Uh, Ralph Lauren, 75% off. Like, this isn't one I would want to pay more than five for. So I paid three fifty. It's a size sixteen and a half, and I hate those sizes. What I do is I, I measure it, figure out about what size this is. This is probably a large or an extra large. What's well, a thirty four? So maybe this is even a medium. I'm not one hundred percent sure. But I, what I do is I measure it, and whatever it measures like, I'll put that size, and then I'll put the numbers after that. This one's gonna be really, really good. This was 75% off of 25, so what, like 750 or something? This one's for LT. But this is like this, this is like, what did you call a substantial piece? This is what Kaylee Eileen would say. Oh no, I fucked up. It's missing the zipper pull. That's why you didn't grab it. That is a bummer. I think even with the broken zipper pull, it's got the bottom one. He tricked me. He left this there on purpose. Damn it. I always check the zipper. That's what I'm talking about. He had those wheelbarrows full of stuff and it just got in my head. But I think even with the broken zipper pull, it's a $40 to $50 item. This would be easily $150 based on the sold comps that I've been looking at for 4XLT stuff. Ah, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. But still, I think a good purchase. Probably would have skipped it, though, if I saw the broken zipper pull. I don't like selling broken shit because people don't look at the pictures or read the description. These are new with the tags, at least. Polar off Lauren corduroy pants. 75% off of 34. So what, 758? I don't know. Because they're new with the tags, it should be fine. Still making a living here on this stuff, but it's not great. Uh, another one of those Polar Off Lauren shirts for 75% off of 15. All right, so that was a little anticlimactic on that last part. I can't believe that jacket, that was like my find of the day, has a broken zipper pull. That's why you always check that. But at least I waited for that one to be 75% off. I'm not going to say anything more about things that are happening in that eco thrift because I don't want him to hear. There's no way he watched this long in the video. Um, but I will be going back next week. <laughs> yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching.